Jesus Christ be praised. What do you think about the flight of the Scarlet's folk? I'd say Sir Rodzik is a fine lord. He made the most of the situation and saved his subjects. You don't see that very often. He was lucky that big storm came. But that's just it. Something happens by chance and you turn it to your advantage. There's not many capable of thinking so fast. Take care now. Good day to you. What do you need? What do you think about the Scalitz folk managing to slip away like that? I can't imagine how they did it. The more I think about it, they was either blessed, or Sigurdsson's mercenary army ain't up to much. When you're on campaign, keep watch no matter how much you're pissing you. If any of us make such a cutter, Sir Robart would flare his skin off our backs. You only say that because you never saw them attack. Aye. Well, it's a shame your folks couldn't be saved. Is Sir Robard really that tough? Tough? Aye. But he's fair. He's a veteran of many a campaign, so he knows Warcraft. I believe him. May the Lord watch over you. Good health to you. What do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh shit. Sorry. And you know Sir Radzi Kobola? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why'd you ask? He must be a fine lord. Takes such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Ah, I could tell you some stories. About Sir Divish? Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. I see. May the Lord watch over you.
God be with you. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were saved, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg B. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzi, because he's Wenceslas's hetman. And Scarlet's is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking. Two birds with one stone. So he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough, one way or the other. Hmm. By the way, Henry. It is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. Farewell. God be with you. What do you think about the Scarlet's folk? It's a hell of a thing. First, everyone is shitting themselves that Sigismund is coming. And then it turns out like this. Praise the Lord they got out of the siege. Scarlet's castle is well fortified, all right. But I hear Sigismund's army is huge. And facing him is suicide. Sir Radzig did the right thing. I'm sorry you didn't all manage to get away. So am I. God is your pay. Thank you. I reckon that Sir Radzik must be a good man the way he looks after his people. But you probably know him better. Not really. My father was forging a sword for him and when he came to have a look at it we exchanged a few words. That's it. Hmm. Then that's a fine lord. Good luck to you.
self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Razzi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen.
lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. 